First reading, Isaiah chapter 65 verse 17 to 21. For behold I create new heavens, and a new earth, and the former things shall not be in remembrance, and they shall not come upon the heart. But you shall be glad and rejoice forever in these things, which I create, for behold I create Jerusalem a rejoicing, and the people thereof joy. And I will rejoice in Jerusalem, and joy in my people, and the voice of weeping shall no more be heard in her, nor the voice of crying. There shall no more be an infant of days there, nor an old man that shall not fill up his days. For the child shall die a hundred years old, and the sinner being a hundred years old shall be accursed. And they shall build houses, and inhabit them, and they shall plant vineyards, and eat the fruits of them. Psalm Psalms chapter 30 verse 2, 4 to 6, 11 to 1 to a and 1 3 b. I will extol thee, O Lord, for thou hast upheld me, and hast not made my enemies to rejoice over me. Thou hast brought forth, O Lord, my soul from hell, thou hast saved me from them that go down into the pit. Sing to the Lord, O ye his saints, and give praise to the memory of his holiness. For wrath is in his indignation, and life in his good will. In the evening weeping shall have place, and in the morning gladness. The Lord hath heard, and hath had mercy on me, the Lord became my helper. Thou hast turned for me my mourning into joy, thou hast cut my sackcloth, and hast compassed me with gladness. To the end that my glory may sing to thee, and I may not regret, O Lord my God, I will give praise to thee forever. Gospel, John chapter 4 verse 43 to 54. Now after two days, he departed thence, and went into Galilee. For Jesus himself gave testimony that a prophet hath no honor in his own country. And when he was come into Galilee, the Galileans received him, having seen all the things he had done at Jerusalem on the festival day, for they also went to the festival day. He came again therefore into Cana of Galilee, where he made the water wine. And there was a certain ruler, whose son was sick at Capharnaum. He having heard that Jesus was come from Judea into Galilee, went to him, and prayed him to come down, and heal his son, for he was at the point of death. Jesus therefore said to him, Unless you see signs and wonders, you believe not. The ruler saith to him, Lord, come down before that my son die. Jesus saith to him, Go thy way, thy son liveth. The man believed the word which Jesus said to him, and went his way. And as he was going down, his servants met him, and they brought word, saying, that his son lived. He asked therefore of them the hour wherein he grew better. And they said to him, Yesterday, at the seventh hour, the fever left him. The father therefore knew, that it was at the same hour that Jesus said to him, Thy son liveth, and himself believed, and his whole house. This is again the second miracle that Jesus did, when he was come out of Judea into Galilee.